and thanks for tuning in to another canter around the paddock of TV's finest ring of horseplay. <laughs> ah, <clears throat> there's a horse right now. Tonight we bring a show to you that is so good, so rare in elegance that you'll notice at times a, a, a rare look of bliss around my face. <laughs> oh yes, yes, uh, 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 the look of bliss only seen normally when I'm doing the vinegar stroke. <laughs> There's one of those. On tonight's show, nothing can go wrong because nothing actually matters. How can it when just this week, the future King of England was pictured looking like this? <laughs> None of your internet messing them out there. That was a genuine photograph. Would you like to see it again with some sound effects? Here it is again. <laughs> Your Majesty. On tonight's inbred irrelevance of a show, Zoe Ball! Graham yeah! Lassalle! Yeah! Aerosmith! Yeah! Garbage! Yeah! And the Red Hot Chili Peppers! Yeah! Oh, Lordy Kablordy! You know, it, it took Bob Geldof 12 months to put a show together like this one tonight. <laughs> Hi, Bob. Oh, Lordy Kablordy, have you chose the right night uh, not to watch the other sides? Because also this evening, totally untrained members of our staff are going to be the silly stooges in the midst of death-defying acts. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We have three of Britain's top traditional danger acts standing by. They're all done by the same bloke, but don't let that worry you. We couldn't get anybody else. He's only just learned, actually, by the way, and he's had a couple of drinks. Uh, they each need a willing stooge, and stooge number one is our Nathan. Any more tea in that pot, Mrs. Barnhill? <laughs> now, Nathan, earlier on we gave you an envelope, and in that envelope is the stooge and the act that you're going to play part of tonight. What is it, please? Chris, tonight, without any rehearsal whatsoever, yep. I'm going to be stooge two. The Whitman! <laughs> oh, yes, you are, Nathan. Bring on the Whitman. Here he is. You two have never worked together before? No. OK, you've never met Nathan before? No. We've rehearsed today, but without Nathan. That's correct. With somebody else. Mm -hmm. Somebody far braver than Nathan. Yes. Yeah. OK, what's your real name? My name's JD, and I'm from Cotton Austin Circus. Yeah! And uh, why do you need a stooge for this, Whitman? Well, I need a stooge to hold smaller and smaller sheets of paper that I rip with my whip. Yeah! And is there an element of danger in this? Oh, it's soaked in danger, Chris. It's soaked in danger, Nathan. Soaked in danger. OK, now, I'm, I know you need a lot of space for this act, so we're going to go downstairs with the big audience down there on stage, okay. eh? OK, we're going to walk down there now, but for those of you like me, as I'm sure we all think uh, that uh, walk-downs are boring, as we walk down, enjoy some, uh, uh, some animals acting silly on the other side of your screen. <laughs> What do you want me to do? Basically, I just want you to hold the paper up. Like this? That's fine. Drum roll, please. One more.
it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Music now, all the way from LA, California, with Scar Tissue. I can't believe they're on the show. Please welcome the Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> Peppers, aren't you, oh, yes. uh, how would you describe that performance then? The yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Uh, still to come, Aerosmith and Garbage, by the way. Oh, but what about that? What about that? The Red Hot Chili Peppers, that was terrific. No, better than that, it was the... Most incredible experience I've sat through in my entire life. Still to come, uh, two more dangerous acts in need of a stooge and our staff and uh, to test to see if you can tell a black person from a white person. We're going to play that tonight for a bit of a laugh. Uh, you can turn over if you like. <laughs> now, a man whose absence from England's game on Wednesday may have cost us our place in the next Euro 2000 Championship. So let's just have a word with Graham LaSalle. <laughs> Okay, Graham, let's get the horrible bit out of the way first, <laughs> shall we? What a gig. No, they, they, they were good, right, but let's get the horrible thing out Come of the on. way so we can have a nice time. Okay, let's find out how big your mouth is. <laughs> All right. Because <laughs> everybody on tonight's show has got a pretty big mouth, uh, I think. Zoe's got a massive mouth. She has. Stephen Tyler's said. got a big mouth. Joe Perry's got a big mouth. We'll check their mouth sizes later, but you've got a pretty big mouth. I've got a huge mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, let's see if you can do the plum. Don't eat it, just put it in, see if you can get it all in. No problem at all. Okay, the plum is Confident. in, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, tangerine. <laughs> Go on. Yeah! Orange. You can have a go. I'm not done any exercises. You can have a go. You are officially now a half orange guest. No, the right. grapefruit. The I, grapefruit know you, no, I think no, Stephen no. Tyler will do the grapefruit. I, I do think he's going to do that. <laughs> I know Zoe can do the grapefruit. <laughs> so, so, Graham, um, let's see you in action first. Shall we see Graham in action? Yeah! He's one of the best, and this will prove it to you. Sweden, you went off at half time because you were you were feeling ill. Mm. Now, why didn't you tell us that before the game? Why did you have to go <laughs> off at half time? It's one of those things you try all week. You want to pull on the England jersey. Yeah. Everybody does. Yeah. And I really felt that as the week went on, I could I could play. You had um, a bit um, of a cold. I did have a, have a slight cold. But yeah, you played the first half, and you he was one of our best players the first half. And then you went <laughs> off. I thought, why is Le so? And they said his mum says he's feeling ill. <laughs> <laughs> he can't play the second half. <laughs> Sick note, yeah. Sick so, note. but you, of course you weren't there for Wednesday either. No, that's right. I had a virus, so, um, so in in all seriousness, it's the sort of thing that once you've got something like that, it's very hard to shake off if you're training every day. And 
I had to hold my hand up and say that I couldn't. You look a bit, you're still a bit peaky now. You still got the eye thing going on. Yeah, that's the makeup woman for you. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Lynn won't like that. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so can I ask you, at the moment, how bad are we at football, the England team? Um, well, we haven't we haven't done a lot in the last uh, six months, have we? From the back of the World Cup, it's been so unsettled. Have you talked um, to Kevin since Wednesday? I haven't. No, no. I sort of waved them off on Monday and uh, have, have been at home since. I so. waved them off on Wednesday. I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> and and do, what did you think of the game? Um, it was very disappointing. Um, you know, I think if if I'd played, I'd have been as disappointed playing as I was watching because it just looked like we were end of the season game sort of thing. I know. And, Redknapp's um, goal should have stood. I thought. I thought that there was nothing wrong with that. Yeah, goal. I mean. So you have so many sort of situations with referees these days. It's difficult. Were you depressed at the end of the game? Yeah, I was because uh, you know not being there, one, I feel you feel you're letting the team down. Yeah, well, you, I, you th are th I think you did let us down, Graham. I, was really <laughs> <laughs> I think it's all your fault. <laughs> well, enough of that now. That's okay. it's, it's all done and dusted. That's okay. Uh, or not done and dusted as, as it would be. Yeah. So what does Lasso mean, Zippy? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's no actual translation for it. Is it French? It's a, it's a Breton name, which is the nearest part of France to Jersey. So See, he's very clever. <laughs> you are very clever. No, 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 no you're a very intelligent man, aren't you? you no, are, not right? at all, no. Uh, Don't I, flatter me. Can I ask you, because you, you have got a good take on the game and a good take on other players, um, how many footballers would you say are emotionally unstable? Um, <laughs> probably all of us. I think you could generalise with men <laughs> being emotionally <Yes>. unstable. <laughs> Great vote from the girls. Because uh, I know you, I know you quite well. I know, yeah. you know, I'm not only very old, but I know you quite well. And we've had a, l a few chats together. Been out a couple of times. And I've got to say that you are the most placid, polite, gentle man in the world. And I don't <laughs> recognise the man that goes on the football pitch because you get so many scuffs, don't you? And you get so angry. Like, I mean, that's not great. He's not like that. And I have to spend my whole day. He's not like that. <laughs> my friends do the same, to be honest. But you can't take you can't take the animal out of out of the person in a, in, a, in a match. Do you know what I mean? You. You, it's, <laughs> it's <laughs> are you a bit animalistic, are you? Well, I think we all are in ways. If you're passionate about something, you've got to play with that passion. You can't. It's very difficult to harness it. If you're a winner, you're a winner. I mean, if we had a game of marbles, I'd want to beat you, and if I didn't, I'd be really upset. So right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. you can take the equation onto any into any sort of part of a of a, a life that's competitive. All right. Well, we're only seven weeks away from the new football season, and oh. uh, I can't wait for it to come back. <laughs> Thanks, so great. Great to see everybody. Yeah. Zoe Ball, Stephen Tyler, Joe Perry, Aerosmith and Garbage. Hit it, boys! Summer specials. That's that. Uh, now, want to play a game? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Want to see if you can tell a white man from a black man? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll tell you if you can, and if, if I choose you, you will win a selection of light and dark meat from a turkey. Yeah. What an that prize! Let's bring on the person of unknown race. So what do we think? Is he white or black? <laughs> what do we think? What do you think? <laughs> Indian. He can't say he's white or black. Well, he looks to be black, wouldn't he? Of course. White he's or black? He's white. Do you think he's white? Right. 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 OK, OK. Well, would you like to win a selection of light and dark meat from our turkey? <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, you're going to play anyway. Okay. Oh, okay. So you I'll think play. he's a what? A white man or a black man? White. A white man. Well, would yeah. you like to see him dance? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do you want me to teach him to dance? No, no, no. Just, just calm down. Oh. You'll get your own show if you keep on trying. Here we go. <laughs> Of 
white and dark meat from a turkey. Oh. White. <laughs> white. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Is he white or is he black? Mystery man, take off your sack. Turkey meat for you! Now, fans, here they are. Steven Tyler, Joe Perry from Aerosmith. Better than ever. Right. You've been rocking all day. So what about those weasels at the Oscars then? What was all that about? Oh Lord, which ones? Most embarrassing. The judges. All oh, that. Well, yeah. isn't it an in-house deal? Well, I don't know. But you were there. You were playing your song because they were they were nominated for an Oscar for one of their songs. So what about that for Marvin Gaye? <laughs> and you went along to play the song as part of the show. for the Oscar yeah. and you didn't win the damn thing they gave it to another Disney <laughs> I thought there was no person that's not really how did you feel about I don't know. it I'll have a word with him will you but that was did you know that when you were booked to appear that you hadn't won well with the Oscars they don't tell you up front well I would have thought if you asked to appear and play your song you're gonna get you must have thought you've got you've got the award then they do they do make it seem that way sure you got to go through all the rehearsals and yeah but it doesn't happen that way all the time no you know? So you're such nice guys, they're so, they're so fair. Right. We're just glad to be able to play there, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, it's, no, it's a big deal for you, wasn't it? And it a was worldwide audience. Of course it's a big deal. I've never been to the Oscars, and I probably never will. Aww. So, um... <laughs> that's all right. You know that's not true. No, it is true. Uh, w uh, now, I know what you like. I've, I've got Stephen a present. I hope you don't mind this joke. But I know what you like. Okay? Oh, really? Yeah, I know what you really <laughs> is it, like. Is it similar to the last thing that you gave me? Yes, it's quite similar, but is not, it? yeah, yeah. But it's legal. Does it have to do with something long and rubber? No, but, it fits over something thin? No, small and round. No, it was rubber, but No, round. that was, but this is small and round. Ah. Small and round objects. Okay. Okay, uh, because I know what it takes to get you boys to play. Right. Watch this. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch this. Ladies and gentlemen, some new buddies of mine stopped by tonight. Maybe we can get them to come up here. How about a warm, flaming mode welcome for Aerosmith? We brought them pickled eggs. They don't demand payment anymore. It's just but then I guess this would lead into the question, but where's the flaming mo? The flaming mo's not He's here. over there! Uh, that, now, would you like one of these? Oh, not before no. we sing, because I think... Oh, yeah. oh, 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 what if it gets lodged in the... No, you're right, actually. We, we, wouldn't, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't want to not hear them sing now to hear. Well, we, you, you know we did the mouth test on Graham. One of our, he's one of our finest footballers, Graham or so, and he's oh, got yeah. he's got a huge mouth. Uh, can we do the same mouth test on you? Can he you was, test it with the. He was an orange. He was an orange. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> Could you try the plum first, Mr. Tyler? Oh Thank me? You. What about him? Because no, Joe's Joe's a quiet. Well, let me get rid of my guitar guitar first. There. I don't have to do that stuff. <laughs> nice. All right, here we are. Okay, the plum. The plum's going to be easy. Yeah. yeah. The tangerine, sir. Do you know where that's been? <laughs> that's the funny part of this. They're all going to be going... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know where that was? <laughs> oh, yeah! yeah. yeah. The orange, sir. I think you can do the orange. I, I can. No, no, no. no, no. I can do this. You're going to cut it up? No, no. What are you going to do? That's your job. Oh, okay. <laughs> you want it? Here. What's he going to do? Uh, Don't mess with Joe, whatever you do. Where is it? <laughs> okay, Joe. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 O
I'll cut this in pieces. No, 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 the other way. Now, what's the difference? All right, fine. You know? All right, here we go. You ready? Okay. This is television, right? All right. The camera doesn't know. All right, you see this? on Tuesday. Yes, I did. And you had a great time. You all went, the whole band went, and uh, you were sat right in front of us, and you were singing along to all the songs, yeah. and every time Mick couldn't hit the note, you did it for him. I like that. Very much. Very <laughs> Which was quite often. No! Oh! He's 103, for heaven's sake! Oh, he's uh, if, if you could, if a Stone song could be yours, which Stone song would you have, if you could choose to nick uh, one? Mm. Not cover one, if you could have actually written a Stone song, which one would you choose? Um... Street Fighting Man. Yeah, you like that? What about yeah, you, Joe? Honky Tonk. Honky Tonk. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 They hit the mark on that one. Uh, now, I want to ask you, if, uh, if you were in charge of a gig, as you often are, and you had these acts, including yourself, um, uh, to put in an order of billing from the smallest act for the show, the first yeah. act, to the top of the bill, yeah, yeah. Uh, which order would you put them in? And the acts are Aerosmith, Elvis, The Beatles, The Stones, U2 and Steps. <laughs> <laughs> Steps are going first. Okay. <laughs> oh man, Elvis has to go last. You think so? Of course. So we go from back forward. Okay, so no, we Elvis is on. on. Elvis goes on. No, no, the Beatles, no. Oh come on, Elvis. Come on, give me a break. Yeah. You ask any one of these guys, they'd tell you, Elvis. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So we got Steps at the bottom, Elvis at the top. Yeah. So we're left with yourselves, the Stones, and the Beatles. Beatles, you two, and the Stones. Beatles, you two. Stones. No, no, I'm sorry. The Beatles, the Stones, and you too. And then, where's Aerosmith going to go? Oh, I'm sorry. We'll that's be at the in between the Beatles. <laughs> we'll no, be at no, the no, box office. In between, in between the Beatles and uh, and Elvis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What great company that would be, wouldn't it? <laughs> so listen, you've got this massive gig on the 26th of June. Uh, yes. Now this is happening in a couple of weeks' time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, are lots of other acts going to be playing there. Well, we're actually doing a benefit before that. With no, it's the day after. The ABC what? Oh, what it is? For, uh, Jimmy Page is doing a benefit that he does every year that we're we're going to play. He's at. a nice man. He's been the on Black the show. Crows are going to be playing, and and uh, Stereophonics, and yeah. Stephen and I are going to sit in. And and then, the, and then of course we're, we're going to jam. You're so bit. modest. They're going to no, sit what we're in. Doing. We're oh, I'll tell you what. Well, I'll sit in as well. That wouldn't be fun. Come on by. No, I It'd can't. Be great to have you. But I sit in. I just a nightmare. But so you got the Twin Toxic Towers ball. And then we're doing the biggest benefit of all, which lines our pockets, which yeah. is the Twin Towers. Toxic uh, Twin it, Towers. Toxic Twin Towers ball. Who's going to play on that with you? The Stones. Well, no. Yes. Uh, as a matter of fact, they're opening. No, 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 no. No, we got the Black Crows and Lenny. Yeah. And the Stereophonics. Okay. So you're going to rock. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Would you do us a favor? Will you rock now for us? You got yeah. it. Oh, please! Okay. Stephen and Joe and Tom and Joey and the boys with Pink. Here we go. Can they rock? Can those boys rock? Yeah. Let's go to the only man. Let's go to the only man who can give us a true reflection of the music on tonight's show. What do you think of Aerosmith? The yeah. Now, earlier tonight, we promised you that three of our staff will become stooges in death-defying acts. Already you've seen Nathan as the Whitman's assistant. Yeah. Wow! Yeah. Okay, uh, 
And now it's time to talk to Jamie, who uh, we've got to cut out the preliminaries with him because we're running short on time here. But Jamie's already outside in a sack we're wrapped in chains. Jamie, can you hear me? Yep, I'm here, Chris. Jamie, what's it like in the sack? Well, you know, a bit sucky. All right, then. Well, Jamie, I've got to tell you, we're really short of time. In fact, now we're so short, uh, and the last act is far more impressive than yours, we're not doing yours anymore. Aww. What was I going to do? Well, it doesn't matter what you were going to do, you cancelled. And you've got to stay in the chain sack for the rest of the show. Okay. So, so there it is, there it is, Jamie, I'm sorry. Would you like to say hello to your mum or something? Hello, mum! There you go. Yeah. Still comes Zoe Ball, Garbage and Werther's on the wheel of death. He's going to have knives thrown at him and he's chosen to wear this T-shirt. <laughs> it was just a coincidence, but now, please, they're going to rock again. Welcome back, Aerosmith! <laughs> Just to hear you breathing Watch you smile while you are sleeping While you're far away dreaming I could spend my life in this sweet surrender in the world today. Stephen, they are the best, my friend. They are indeed. <laughs> They're unbelievable. OK, on next week's show, oh, boy, oh, boy, have we got a great lineup for you. We've got Mel G, she's going to be on the show. <laughs> Rachel Vice, she's going to be on the show. Oh, it's all going on. I'll tell you who else is going to be on the show, because they've just got the card. Um, Beautiful South, yeah, they're going to be on the show. And in a moment, knives being thrown at where this is my cue card boy, which is why I didn't have my cue card, because he's outside now, about to have knives thrown at him. And who's got the worst deal there, me or him? Well probably him. <laughs> so cakes and muffins time again. Somebody else has had a bad week as somebody else always does and this week it's Vanessa. She's had a show axe. <laughs> so uh, Vanessa Feltz, we are sending her cakes and muffins. In fact we did it yesterday with Nathan. Any more tea in that pot Mrs Barnhill? Yeah. <laughs> terrible balloon, terrible balloon and this is what happened when we took along the cakes and muffins to Vanessa. Hi, Nathan, Tier 5 Friday. Listen, Vanessa, I brought you a big basket full of cakes and muffins just to cheer you up. Now, time for the third of our stooges in these death defying acts. It's the work of a true cue card genius, Chrissy Worthington. Okay, who by now should be outside, he should be all ready to go on a spinning wheel of death. Uh, Worthers! Hello, T. <laughs> Worthers, you got the short straw tonight, didn't you, old matey? What a surprise, eh, T? Yeah, what a surprise. Um, now, you got off lightly, didn't you, Jamie? Join myself, actually. <laughs> Fucking bit. 
Okay, knife man, who coincidentally was also whip man, what's Werther's role as a stooge, please? Well, he just has to spin around and avoid the knives as I throw them, Chris. Okay. Come on, please. Worthers can make it one afternoon. Now, how about some big fun from our yeah. last guest? Yay! I love her, but she's now officially off the market. Please welcome Zoe Ball. Fine, dangerous acts, and we've got sheer beauty. Oh, you're a sweetie. Thank now, you are getting yeah. married, there's no doubt about that. I am. The wedding's in August, everybody. She's off the market. Yeah. You're getting married to Norman Cook, the fat boy, slim man. It's easy for a man who's yeah. as short as Norman to look like Big Down Below because he's very, he's not very tall, is he? Oh. He's, my, he's a bit taller than me. He's, you liar. Yeah, he's like, he's, he's like six foot. <laughs> no, he's not. We've got photographic evidence of it. Have a look at this photograph. Look. <laughs> Do you know, in, in that photo, he was he was actually having a wee. Was he? Oh, so that's he's having a wee wee. <laughs> he was looking up going, He's turned the sea green. Yeah. Now, what, is he, what was he about to do next, Zoe? Um, okay, what, is there another one? No, no. there, there. Oh, there. Well, he was having a... I mean, then we're going back to the boat. Okay, that's right. Okay. And now, listen, um, we, we've got lots of questions about... Um, okay. You, oh, God, where's the thing? Oh, no, the question's about... Oh, oh is, is this it here? Oh, yeah, here we are. Right. <laughs> Zoe, yeah. how important are those two dots above your name? Completely irrelevant. Are they? Totally useless. I forget to put them on myself. Well, because yeah. typewriter keyboards don't have those dots, do no, they? No, they can do them on the computer now, but um, does it really matter? I don't really care. Uh, which do you prefer, the left dot or the right dot? Um, the right dot. You, you like the right dot. Yeah. Can you give um, both the dots a name, please? OK. Um, oh, Sid and um, Fred. And they go over the E, don't they? Yeah. Have you ever put them over the O by mistake? Um, no, but someone else has. Oh, my <laughs> goodness me. Are the dots invited to the wedding? Um, <laughs> what's this leading to? Um, well, yeah, maybe. Are they on the invitation? Uh, without the two dots, how do you say your name? Zoe. Right, but it's Zoe. Is that where you're Zoe, yeah, I yeah. call you Zoe, don't I? I yeah, don't know why. So. I, uh, I don't mind that, though. Any, anything else to add to the whole two dots debate? Uh, nothing at all. Excellent! All right, then we'll move on. We sorted that one out. No, I got my invite for the wedding. I can't believe you've invited me. I'm so pleased. Thank you very much indeed. I oh, know, I'm really glad. You are going to come, aren't you? Of course you? I am. I've got Excellent. no choice. Excellent. I've been told. Yeah. yeah. I know, because your girl rang up to see what you should wear. By her indoors. Yeah. She said, I've got to go. And you had these little personal messages on, on your invites that yeah. you've written. Yeah. So you must have spent a nice night at home, you yeah. and Norman. Little Doing messages. Yeah? yeah. Like yeah. Christmas cards at night. Yeah. What was that like? Was it, that it's like? nice, actually. It was very exciting. Yeah. And you keep kind of looking at each other and going, getting married. <laughs> It's, um, it's lovely. Uh, yes, it's, I'm really excited about that. Well, so you should be, and good luck to you. Now, it's going to be a good do. Well, it's going to be a great do. A bouncy castle. A bouncy castle, yeah. fantastic. So, Vanessa, <laughs> Vanessa invited as well. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, oh, is, there, is, is there anybody uh, in, you know, because the seating plan's very important. Yeah. Uh, who's the person that you've sent me furthest away from on purpose? Um, furthest <laughs> away from on purpose. Who's going that I shouldn't want to bump into? Um... Well, it's your friend, your mate, my mate, Carol, going. Oh, my ex-wife? Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> we are friends now. <laughs> well, there's no, there's Am no I one near else. her? Um, I, yeah, I, I thought I'd put you on Oh, the that's good. <laughs> no, you're mates now, though, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, oh, good. So that's huge right. mates. But no, I don't think there's anyone else. We've got a bit of a problem, though, because the head table um, yeah. only takes 15, and we have eight, no, was it? Yeah, 15, and we have eight parents, plus best man and all the bridesmaids and everything. So it's, you know, someone's going to get upset, aren't they? Who was, the, who was the person that you least wanted to invite to the wedding? But you've had to. Oh, no, that's terrible. But I bet there was someone, though. 
All right, who got in last then? Who got in last? Well, there was, there, I have to say, I mean, as there are with most parties, there was a little bit at the end. It's like, well, if people can't come, let's invite them too. But only because there were like other halves of people. The rest of it. No, we've, got, we've, we've kept it, you know, we haven't done any of that political bit. You better ask them, better ask them. That always happens. You're lying. No, 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 I'm not. Seriously, I think we've been, we've been quite good. We've, we've sort of said, no, don't invite them. We don't like them. Kind of thing. Nice. So, and who were yeah. they then? Oh, I can't go. No, no, work invites. Who did you have to invite because of work then? Your bosses? Well, my team, my bosses. Yeah. But yeah. I, li I only invited the bosses I liked. Which I oh, so which ones didn't you Oh, Matthew Bannister's coming. He's coming. Matthew's he's coming. coming up, my old boss. Andy Parfit, obviously, he had a Andy radio Parfit, one. he's your boss now. And uh, he's just giving me nice raise, thank you. Did he? And, um, and uh, who else? Uh, my boss from uh, Chris Bellinger from um, Lime and Kicking, because okay. he's lovely. So the bosses are friends yeah. as well. That's yeah, a nice thing, they're all isn't nice. It? Now, have you had the big offer from the magazine? Yeah, we did. We had it within... Um, Ten minutes of me making the announcement on the radio. Yeah. Yeah. And who was it? Um, okay or hello? Hello, I think were first. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Yeah. And uh, did they get to they, a money stage? Well, they did get to a money stage, but we didn't. Uh, I, don't, I want my mates to be able to get drunk and have a laugh. I don't want to stand in, stand in front of one of those boards with, you know. So you've said no. Okay. Like this. No. No. Good no girl. Inside. I like that. So we can show the weddings of your uh, the photographs of your wedding here. Yeah, that'd yeah, be no, nice. Some kind of little video situation. Exactly, that'd exactly. be nice. We have been warned about people in trees and mm -hmm. helicopters and things like that. Yeah. They were talking about actually having like metal detectors and saying, no, right, no one can bring no, cameras with important. them. Gabby like... Roslin's wedding, wedding was exactly the same, and nobody was interested. No, exactly. Really. Uh, now you told me you wanted a baby. Yeah. Well, I can't help you with that anymore. <laughs> it's gonna have to be one of normal. Now, it, it, see, when a baby's born, they're a little ball, they're balled, aren't they? So they look like yeah. normal. They so will look like little normal. I know. Are, are, when are you gonna have your little baby then? Well, I think we might start trying on the honeymoon. Isn't that what honeymoon? Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, you know, no, these things can take a long time. So, yeah. uh, but I'm, oh, we're both really excited. You're rocking, are you? We've got names and all. No. But we're going there. <laughs> oh, come on! Who hasn't, yeah. you know, yeah. thought of okay. girls in here? What, I names, think what names are we talking about? Um, oh no, I can't say because it'd be awful. It might be sort of bad sort of. Like the good names, good All right, names. okay, yeah. well, good luck to you there. Thank you. You're getting married. You're all happy. Now, you're really yeah. happy this time, because you've told me you've been happy before. Yeah. And then you've chucked them the week after. <laughs> no, I'm very, what very What happened happy. to Dan the DJ? What's he doing there? Where's he? Um, he's got a new girlfriend. He's very happy. Is he coming to the wedding? Um, he is, yeah, because oh, right. we're all friends. So it could get interesting later. <laughs> My ex-wife, your ex-boyfriend. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> and what about the bloke from the seahorses? Is he coming? Um, what, Chris? Yeah. I never went out with Chris. Didn't you? No. Oh, you wanted to. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, no, I, I think, actually thought I you did. I think no. I think he, no. no um, I, d I haven't invited him. Oh, no. no. Just, 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 uh, this is the worst thing, though. You see people at the street and you go, "Oh my God." Well, don't worry. Sorry. You go, can't invite everybody. That's right. You. Now listen. You're going to work. You're going back to work soon. You've got a new show coming up yeah. there in the autumn. Yeah. Now, exactly. even though it's a co-production with my company, it's nothing to do with me. No, it's nothing. And to I know do nothing about it. No, you don't. And I'm not allowed in the room. No. Which is quite right. Co Will so you come on as a guest? I'll come on as a guest, but if it's a flop, therefore it's not my fault. It won't be a flop. Okay. It's going to be really, really good. With right. Tim Lovejoy. Okay. Well, good luck. Good luck with the wedding, with the new okay. show, with the baby, with the names. Thank you. Zoe Ball, everybody. Yeah. 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 The Naked Parade, by the way. This week, it's uh, to do with gardening, so the boys truly are with their tools. <laughs> Iron Brew sponsors TFI Friday.